It is true that Americans of all ages and employments are suffering due to gas prices. However, it is not only Americans that suffer, but America herself who pays a correspondingly high price. Whereas Americans pay for it out of their wallets, America pays for it out of the coffers of her national dignity. The shame of our continued dependence on oil is exposed for all to see. Equally embarrassing is a return to drill, baby, drill. Drill, baby, drill is not an answer. It's an excuse. It's an excuse to avoid telling the American people the truth. The truth that the majority of the tens of millions of offshore acreage currently under lease are inactive. The truth that America produced more oil last year than any year since 2003, and that increase in supply has done nothing to limit gas prices. The truth that instability in small oil producing countries that America does not import from directly still has the ability to wreak havoc at your local gas pump. The truth that even if we exploited everything, cast off every environmental protection and shred of national honor in the produce of additional oil, we will still always rely on other countries for oil, and that will always constitute a threat to our national security. Always. Oil robs Americans of their independence. It stifles America's ability to control its own destiny and its own security. Our over-reliance on oil puts our way of life, our ability to drive to work, to start companies, to even buy groceries into the hands of others. Again, many would argue that our problem is not oil, but foreign oil, and that we have enough resources in America if we only had the courage to explore and exploit them. There's nothing courageous about that. There's nothing patriotic about it either. It is the talk of people who would see us double down on a relationship with oil that has turned from symbiotic to parasitic. Those who advocate more of the same, more oil, more dependence, more debasement of our values, endanger this country by embracing a strategy that has been failing us for several decades now. This coming weekend is Memorial Day. It's a weekend where people travel, go to the movies, or have a family barbecue. Memorial Day is more than just hot dogs and hamburgers. Memorial Day is a day to remember those men and women who had the courage to do right by America even when those actions would cost them everything. It is a day to remember that nothing worth anything comes easy or without sacrifice. When I think back to the sacrifices made by the brave men and women that I served with in combat, I'm reminded how great a responsibility it is to ask people to sacrifice for something. When I sent soldiers into harm's way, I held on to the belief that their sacrifices would not be in vain. The sacrifices that people make this Memorial Day must be for a purpose as well. Soldiers do not sacrifice for the status quo. They sacrifice in the hopes that they will bring about a change. Drill, baby, drill is not a change. It's more of the same. If it becomes our strategy for the future, then not only will the hardships Americans are suffering at the pump this weekend be for naught, it is almost guaranteed that they will be asked to sacrifice again and again and again in the years to come. There are other solutions, however. Right now, the military is investing in private sector companies that are working to, to develop advanced generation drop-in biofuels that can be grown, not mined, right here in America. Advanced research in battery technology has the potential to usher in a new wave of electric vehicles. And finally, simple regulatory guidance that increases fuel efficiency standards can eliminate the need for billions of gallons of oil. These are not slogan solutions that roll easily off the tongue. These are real solutions that embrace the innovative and entrepreneurial spirit of the American people. These are solutions that do justice to the sacrifices people are making right now and will continue to make this weekend. This is not a Memorial Day problem. This is a problem of the decade, of the next 50 years, of the future. It is a threat to our economic and national security. It cannot be fixed in time for this Memorial Day weekend, but it can be fixed in time for weekends to, Memorial Day weekends to come. It simply requires leaders who are brave enough to put forth solutions instead of hide behind excuses. It requires leaders who would wrest control of America's future away from the suffocating grip of oil markets and place it instead into the hands of her people and their innovative spirit. Thank you very much.